Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs and today we're going to show you how to make the hanging photo holder. Um, what this is, this is an adjustable photo holder so depending on your view, uh, if you have it a low on a, an actual table you can adjust it like this. If you have it high on a shelf you can adjust it backwards so you have a better viewing angle no matter which way you have it. So it kind of just free floats in there and uh, it's tight enough that you can adjust the angles. So I'm going to show you how to make this today, um, how to assemble it. Um, and along the way, uh, you're going to need a rubber tip hammer, like usual, like this one here. And then you're going to need one sheet of medium walnut plywood, a proof grade material from Glowforge. Or um, this should work for the maple material as well, the maple plywood. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna keep this video a little bit shorter and we're gonna build the hanging photo holder. Um, as you can see, I already put together the actual photo frames here. So it's gonna print off similar to this, but in between the two photo frames is gonna be all of the back parts of the photo frames. So uh, these parts right here. Um, you're gonna have the two L shapes on both sides and then this really long U shape here. And then you'll have five little um, t tabs that you just hammer into place. So make sure those don't fall out. Um, and then you just uh, hammer them all together with your picture in there. And that's how it holds in there. So we're gonna go ahead and set those off to the side for now. Um, and then we're gonna build the actual stand. And we're gonna go through this together here really quick with you. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to grab one of these um, sides here and we're going to grab the actual support beams here. So these are going to be the support beams and you're just going to hammer those right into these little um, tabs here that match up. And you can probably push them in by hand, but if you give them a nice little tap here with a hammer, let's see if you can see that on camera there. Just give them a nice little tap, that way they're nice and flush there, like that. Um, and we can go back and tighten them up a little bit more later on, um, if we need to there. So we're gonna do the rest of them here. We got two more on this side. And you only wanna do one side first here. All right, so as you can see, I've got all of these hammered right into those uh, two squares there so they all lock into place and uh, the reason why we're only doing one side is we need to put our picture frames in the little holes here so they swing back and forth so you're gonna have to kind of uh, use two hands and then hold these up um, they should stand up by themselves but th they can always fall down on their own as you can see it will fall if you let go so you're gonna have to kind of hold these while you put them in here right into the two slots there. And then what we're gonna do is grab this last piece here um, on the other side, and you're gonna have to line everything up while holding this. So it gets a little bit tricky, but uh, you're gonna have to line those up and then hammer it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and work on this um, so I don't have to focus on the camera. So hopefully you can see that on camera here, and we'll get started on each thing. All right, there you guys go. So as you can see, I got that together and you saw that um, I had a little bit of trouble because my picture frame fell out because I wasn't holding it properly. But you want to hold that and make sure they're all lined up. And I tried to get away with tapping the top here and then the center after. Um, what I would do is tap the top in and then the, the opposite side in and leave the center kind of loose so you can fit it in there. And then tap that in last. Um, so now that we got that made, um, we're going to have to make the stand here on the bottom. So all you have to do here is uh, when you print it, make sure that you use this as a score. And then um, this is going to be your secondary um, spot here for the stand. It's going to fit right into that score and you're going to line it up. 
and then you're just gonna pop this right into that stand and uh, it may actually be easier to put the the first portion here down first and then pop it in and then put the second portion on after so we're gonna go ahead and pop that right in there and you're gonna have to give it a nice little tap of the hammer So if you like the smaller base, you can leave it just like this, um, and, but you will have a gap down here. But if you don't want that gap and you like the bigger base, then you're gonna have to line this all up and uh, tap it in with the hammer again. So we're gonna do that now. And just make sure it's nice and flush. And then they should all line up and stack on top of each other here. You may have a very slight gap depending on your um, material thickness. But this is the hanging photo display here. As you can see, it will hang and spin um, according to however you want it to, to show. But um, that is the photo holder right there. That's what it's going to look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.